What's up guys, my name is Nikronic Ghost here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be talking about This Week at Bungie for August 2nd, 2018. This is somewhat of a uh, prolific event in history. We're having the first Fertushka dolls in the game. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do with these things. If you have not tried it out, one of the new campaign missions, Spark, has a servitor that just keeps splitting into servitors and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a very interesting mechanic, and it's a prolific day in history when we start to get this, which means that they might appear more often, and I'm super excited. I've always loved the Hydra mechanic in any game. Uh, but anyways, that's off topic. This is This Week at Bungie. We're going to be talking about the things that's happened last week and what's coming up next week. For the most part, uh, it is going to be about the Solstice of Heroes. Lots of cool things like arts, this main joke about... Uh, servitors being the splitting into stuff and a lot of different interesting things if you did not know right now Solstice of Heroes is going on right now uh, it's basically an event for you to get to 400 light before the Forsaken releases uh, get this cool gold gilded armor with like glowiness you can change to any of the three colors um, and it's a whole bunch of fun I'm still working on my armor sets to get up to the resplendent stuff um, and for the most part, uh, it is going to be a bit of a grind. So you definitely should get out earlier more than later. As far as the rest of this stuff goes, there's a whole bunch of stats. For the most part, hunters are the most common people in Destiny 2, apparently, which is, you know, severely disappoints me as a, as a Titan main. But uh, anyways, well, let's move on. Uh, Dead Orbit 1. Definitely, definitely won. Um, i kind of surprised to see Future War Call got so much more, but uh, again, it's probably because of the Sunshot. Um, New Monarchy is close behind Future War Called, but Dead Orbit with the Graviton definitely held it out. As far as the other stats, you can kind of peruse them as you'd like. There's a whole bunch of stat stats in the millions. The most uncommon thing in the game, Redrix's Claymore. It seems like at the end of uh, Season 3, if you have as Redrix's Claymore, you are one of like 9,000 people who did it out of like the millions who have freaking done this game, which is actually insane. So if you do get this, this is a momentous occasion. I'll never get that, but it is incredible. And lastly, uh, this is probably why they mentioned the shaders every time. They're like, bulk shader deletion. So uh, you can increase this number to the billions, uh, which is actually kind of funny uh, that they give us this thing. Next part talks about the things that are not returning to the next year two stuff. All these year one things are going to be retired. For example, if you wanted the Nameless Midnight uh, from the Vanguard, you need to get it now before it disappears forever. As, as well as things from the Crucible, for example, Registered Claymore, Gunsmith, NTOPD, and Monon apparently won't be there. I core her armor set, Trials of the Nine, all that stuff. If you want that Ghost with the 10% XP, Iron Banner weapons, shaders, all that stuff, and Cade Stash emblems. I assume this is his treasure map stuff. Um, but I, I I don't know. They also talk about there's going to be a lot of changes to year one weapons in year two. They will be updated to year two standards. I see better devils at least ten times here. Do you see that? They're going to be changing my baby. I'm very, very upset. Uh, but for the most part, uh, they're going to be mentioning this because there's a lot of people who are missing certain pieces of gear. And there's a lot of different ways you can figure out what gear uh, that you have and don't have with this link right here. It leads to a site that's all about the Destiny uh, sets and whatnot. I use this site for uh, my Nightfall stuff because it shows what the Nightfall uh, reward is. And it's a very nice interface. So uh, I actually use this a lot. And this is actually something that Benji recommended uh, to show what kind of things you have. Just connect it to your Bungie account here at the bottom. And then, of course, you can see which things you have and have not gotten. I'm fairly certain I have gotten these things, which is weird why they that some of these things haven't updated. But uh, that is... Ooh, wow, what was that ship? It's like a... Ooh, I haven't seen that one before. Anyways, there's a, there's a lot of things that I haven't gotten yet, but... Uh, uh, that that's here if you wanted to go get it next up let's talk about the forsaken combat stream uh basic premise they're going to be showing you the new mods and new weapons this trailer doesn't show you anything i would just skip it it's not important next up let's talk about the bugs there's been a lot of people with some issues especially with elemental orb generation there's a lot of things you can do to make this a lot easier uh, these four bullet points will help you. Firstly, they are generated when you have a full set on of inequality. I made this mistake a few times, but I found out pretty quickly if you highlight the head, it does say it on that. Secondly, elemental orbs are not generated on super kills or masterwork weapon kills. They can be, should be getting forgotten from any one of those types of kills. It's just that supers I find are just more common. In general, elemental orbs are generated off the player's subclass as well as their energy and power weapon. And lastly, you can get benefits from local allies, so make sure you're traveling with a team with these similar subclasses and weapon loadouts so you can get the best bang for your buck. For example, don't have a solo titan and an arc uh, hunter in the same strike because then you're going to have conflicting supers and not help each other out very much as well as a whole bunch of other known issues you can read for yourself down below a couple of missions making it so you can't progress i've encountered this twice now a couple of joining allies screen and just getting stuck in a place i can't even wipe for the most part just go to the tower come back you got to redo it 
um, and of course some other things that are not working valor ranks and stuff this is probably for that legend valor rank issue uh, that people have been having a whole bunch of stuff here Second to last thing here is going to be about the Moments of Triumphs t-shirt. If you get 250 Triumphs point, you can change this shirt here from $777,000 uh, down to only $24 or $25 or $30. So if you want to get yourself one of these cool ass looking shirts, uh, if you get 250 of those points, you can get these shirts with these little things and you can get your name across the tag if you pay 500, uh, five extra dollars, which is going to be right on the shoulder. It's not going to be written across the whole thing, um, but it's going to be on the shoulder, very similar to that was in the previous one with the blue one, which I do have, which I was wearing the other day, actually. And the last little section is going to be vital information. Basically, they're shutting down a couple of things before the Forsaken comes out. So starting August 28th to the 24th is basically that last week before Forsaken, there's going to be a couple of things that are going to be uh, kind of shut down. For example, you're not going to be able to get in your collections or vault. So you need to pull out everything that you want before that time. Secondly, Nightfall scoring will be turned off on that week as well. So make sure you get your Nightfall scoring in before that particular week. Don't leave it for the last week. And that's it. That's all there really is to it. A couple of this week of bungees. I like this one. This one's really, really funny. This guy's, uh, I don't know what language he's speaking. It might be Spanish. He keeps going off with his alone as a god, like seven shots, seven kills. It's, it's actually pretty impressive. And he just starts going off like, he's like, oh, deal, deal. And something I was just informed about is that this video about six red drinks versus Callus is actually my clan. This is my clan mate. You can see Eno and Black right here. Danimo, this is my clan. We did it, boys. You know, obviously I wasn't part of it, but uh, we ki I kind of did it. <laughs> Shout out to Black, man. He's been trying to get into this week at Bungie for a while now. He has gotten in the past a few times with a bunch of videos that you've probably seen him here at one point. Uh, two Manning Argos. Uh, I think was one of the ones he tried for. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, but shout out to my boys. Let's go. Cool. And the last little bit is Nightfall Top Scores. I wanted to mention this because I see the name Datto here. If this is the real Datto, shout out to Datto. Let's go. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is the top scoring stuff. All PC yet again. So come on, console. We can get in. On this Nightfall, I got 154, but uh, it was only like one or two tries. So I'm sure I could have gotten like uh, closer to like 200,000, maybe 180, 190, which is actually really close to like number three, which is really exciting for me as the person who plays a lot of these uh, these Nightfalls. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much just uh, flavor text and extra fluff. That's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Um, and of course, thank you for staying here. Uh, hashtag made it to the puppies because here are some adorable puppies for you guys. Thank you so much for making it to the puppies, which is making it to the end. Um, and of course, thank you for watching. Of course, my name is Midnight Chronic. And of course, thank you for watching this, of course, video.